uh, we'll move straight into our first dialogue. Uh, the moderator of the first dialogue is Mark Costello Etchogori. Um, and the title of the dialogue is The Critical Importance of Cholera Surveillance as a Basis for Action. Uh, Mark is a deputy director of Epicenter and an and ep epidemiologist. Uh, Mark, over to you. Yeah, thanks you. Thanks very much, Dr. Benson, and thanks for the introduction. Uh, I, I would like I would like to start with um, with an idea which is um, maybe um, against the stream of, of the cholera. Cholera is very often described as a disease of an old century. Uh, I, unfortunately, I don't think so. I think that this is a very modern disease. Why? Because it has been said, you mentioned it, and then everybody mentioned it in the movie and in WHO. Um, unfortunately, it touches as the poorest of the poorest. And um, unfortunately, the poorest of the poorest is a real modern problem in our world by now. We know that uh, there are a lot of uh, improvement in, uh, in social economics and life of people, but unfortunately, the poorest remain the poorest and even become more poor by now. And they are, these are the ones who are affected as it has been mentioned. Um, je continuerai en français pour, parce que d'abord je suis plus à l'aise en français, ça permettra aussi de mettre tout le monde à l'aise pour parler dans la langue qu'il préfère. Alors, c'est une vieille maladie, c'est une maladie moderne parce qu'elle est toujours présente. So cholera is a very, very strong um, present disease, but on which we made some progress because we are much better, uh, for example, uh, the uh, healthcare and the information techniques and preventive uh, information. We have a lot of tools that we didn't have a few years ago um, at our disposal. We are able with all the community nowadays and our experts um, to have reactive and, and quick reactions. And we have uh, more material tools as well, like um, quick diagnostic um, tests, who allow us to be more reactive and confirm a pandemic in one particular place. None of those tools are perfect. This is obvious. We also know, and this has been shown in, def in, in a lot of uh, areas, that the combination of these tools with the right timing and with the right means will uh, lead to very, very quick results. This has been said many times. The strategy is, uh, of course, around the hotspots. Um, we call them point chaud in French, but I would just say hotspots in French as well. So why? Why? We have to remember that it's in those places that cholera is there and persists and even uh, becomes a hotspot. And in the other places, uh, we cannot uh, say that cholera is still a threat as it is in the hotspots. In the hotspots represents 90% of cholera cases in the world. 90% of them uh, live there. But they are very not very well defined, those hotspots. It would be better to define them better. We obviously have um, surveillance systems, but they are not perfect. So we just need, need to stick with the actual figures, which is 1.3 point uh, up to 4 million per year. And the same as um, uh, 100,000 deaths per year. So of course we need to follow these data and we know that the, these results uh, can be very variable, but are also quite crazy. Uh, we have the more uh, tests nowadays, the rapid tests, and this could be um, make us more able to detect the cholera cases in um, in advance. But these alerts are not the only objectives um, in how we can improve surveillance. We shouldn't just stop at this uh, function. 
a better detection, a better surveillance, a better uh, follow-up on cases should allow us to target our actions, uh, especially the wash uh, actions and the prevention and the immunization um, uh, strategies. But this is not all. It's true that these actions, if they're all together and they are, uh, they're, they are put into action quickly, can save lives. And this is, of course, what we should prioritize right now. We should also remind you that in terms of economical efforts, this could make us lead us to a savings because, because um, it, um, con in comparison with other diseases. So if we combine all of these means, it's something that's very important. And this surveillance and the follow-up on cases will allow so many more elements that are completely paramount for the, the, the fight against cholera. The description of uh, the monitoring of resistance to antibiotics and others. And for all of these reasons, monitoring is really important. And I will uh, stop my introduction here.